and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Never die. Believest thou this? If you believe in Jesus, you shall never die. If you believe in him and you live for him, you shall never die. You may go to sleep. You may get out of his body, but guess what? You're going to live forever. Hallelujah. So we're getting ready to commune now. But before you do it, get it straight. Amen. If you want to go to that place where you can have peace and happiness for eternity, let's get it straight now. Before you take any bread, or drink any water and wash your feet. You get it straight with God. If you have done wrong, done your sister or your brother wrong, please do it right. Come to them and ask them to forgive you for what you have done. If they are not here, tell God. To God, I'm sorry for what I have done. Because if I communion and I have done wrong, it's damnation to my soul. And it's not good when you have disobeyed God and trying to do his will. It's not good. Because you may not live to get it right. And then, when he come back for you, you're lost. Lost forever. Lost forever. This is something that we do every commitment. Amen. Get it straight. Get it right. Bishop, always let us have a, a little short time to talk to God. And get it right. You have a chance. God give everybody a chance. If you miss the chance. If you lose the chance. It's nobody's fault but yours. Hallelujah. While I was up here shouting and praising God. If there was anything in my life. I was getting straight right then. Praise the Lord. I said God search my heart. Yeah. Search my heart. If you find anything that it shouldn't be, take it out and cleanse me. Every time we come to church, that's what we should that's say. What we should be praying to do. Praising the Lord, Lord, if anything in my heart is not right, you know God. I don't know. Oh, but you know. Sometimes we've done things that done wrong and we don't know it, but you know it. And he will reveal it to us. See, you did something so, so wrong. There is something in your life that you know about it. For the things that you have done or left undone, get it straight now. Then you will have eternal life. Place with peace and joy and happiness. You don't have to cry no more. You don't have to uh, be disappointed anymore. That's where I'm trying to go. And that's where I will go. Because I'm going to obey God. All hearts are clear. Amen. Now we're going to our scripture. Praise the Lord. First Corinthians, the 11th chapter, mm -hmm. the 24th through the 34th verse. And when he had given thanks, he break it and say it. Mm -hmm. Take, eat. Take and eat. But first, he broke the bread and he gave thanks. He said, now take it and eat it. Take, eat, eat. This is my body. This is my body. This bread. This is my body. Come for me. Take it and eat. This is my body. 
which is broken for you is broken for you. It was broken for you. For your sins. Things that you have done wrong. It was broken for you. Not for me, but for you. This do in remembrance of me. When you do it, you remembering who? Jesus. Jesus. Every time you do it, you remember me. You remember my suffering. You remember the whips that they put on me. The thorns that they This in remembrance of me. For the things that I went through with for you. Just think about it. I can't even understand it right now. When I think about the film, how he was whipped. Somebody said he was the bloody mass. You couldn't, you, you really didn't even tell just Really, who he was, was. if you had known. But he was so bloody. So bloody. He did it for. He went through with it for you and me. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He did it with us. Why can't we remember him? Why? After the same manner, also, he took the cup. He took the cup. When he had supped, saying, mm -hmm. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. The New Testament in my blood. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, Jesus. His blood was so powerful. Oh, yeah. Get cleansed, get washed. Yeah, you. Of everything that you have done, yeah, you. it can wash you and make you white as snow. Yeah, you. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread mm -hmm. and drink this cup, mm -hmm. Ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Yes. Show his death until he come back. We don't know when he's coming back. But he is coming. He's coming. Oh, God, he is coming. He's coming. He's coming. We don't know. Maybe. Could be right now. Could be this afternoon. Could be tonight or tomorrow. We don't know. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Isn't that something you should do it outward? Come on with it. The best of your ability, the best of your life. Do it. Do it. You want to do it worthy. Worthy. But let a man examine himself. Examine yourself. That's why. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We gave him opportunity to examine yourself. Take the time. Take inventory. Examine yourself. Come on with it. Come on with it. Lord, what's wrong? What have I done wrong? If so, God, forgive me. Oh, <laughs> 
and drink of that cup. After you examine yourself and you have gotten it right, eat the bread and drink the cup. We're going to eat the bread and we're going to drink the cup today. Why? Because we're going to examine ourselves. We're going to get it right. We're going to make it right. Oh, God, we're going to make it right. Because we want to be like God just spoke to me. If you do it unworthy, I'm not pleased. I want to be pleased in your life. I want to be pleased with your life. With your thinking, with your action, I want to be pleased with it. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Damnation to yourselves. Mm -hmm. Not discerning the Lord's body. Mm -hmm. For this cause, for this cause, listen, 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 listen carefully. For this cause. Many are weak. Many are weak. That's why we have so many weak Christians. They're weak because they're drinking and, and eat the Lord's supper unworthy. But this call, they are weak. God don't want you weak. Jesus don't want you weak. He wants you strong. Everybody should walk out here today and say, I'm strong. Because I'm going to do it right. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. I don't mind being sick for the things that I have not done. But the things that I have done, I don't want to be sick. For this cause, some are sick, some are weak. And not only some are sick and weak, they're even in death. They have died because they Ain't the Lord's Supper unworthy. They disobeyed God. And God been telling them all the time what I want you to do. But you disobeyed and you went on your own way. But you got a time set. Sometimes we might get by one time and we do it. We get by another time. But God made a time set. If we judge ourselves, if we judge ourselves, I don't need nobody to judge me. I can judge myself. I know what I'm wrong. I know what I'm right. I can judge myself. 